Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Before I begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here. And it also really helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So the topic of this video is going to be long division, and this will be our second part of our long division series. So <clears throat> utilizing long division, what we're going to have here, we have two problems that we are going to solve. The first one will be 34,679 divided by eight. And then this big old monster number over here divided by three. So it really doesn't matter how long the numbers are. You still do the same process overall. So let's start with number one over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at eight dividing into each number by itself. So eight going into three. Well, eight can't really go into three because we can't be over that numbers because eight times one is eight. And when you're dividing, you can't put a number up here that results in a larger value when you multiply it by your dividing number. So eight goes into three, zero times without going over. So eight times zero gives me zero then. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract then our three from zero or our zero from three, sorry, and that gives us three. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down our next number and combine it with our previous number to make 34. You don't add them together, you just place them next to each other and now it's 34 instead of three. So how many times does eight go into 34? Well, eight times four gives me 32, and eight by five gives me 40. Well, remember, you can't go over the number you're dividing by, since now we're dividing by 32, or 34, sorry. Well, 32 is not going over, that means I have a four. So we're going to place that 4 directly above the number that we dropped. And then we're going to take that number, multiply by 8, and place it down here. So 4 times 8 gives me 32. And we are going now to subtract that off our 34. So 34 minus 32 gives me 2. And then once again, just move to your next number. We're going to drop down that 6. And now this becomes 26. Well. How many times does eight go into 26 without going over? Well, eight by three gives me 24. Eight by four gives me 32. So it's gonna have to be the three. So we're gonna place that three directly above the number we just dropped of six. So eight times three gives me 24. And then we're gonna subtract again, 26 minus 24 gives me two. Then we're gonna drop the next number, which is seven. So now this becomes 27. Well, just like the previous one there, eight by three is 24, eight by four is 32. You can't go over 27. So three, we will place right above our seven. So eight times three gives me 24 without going over 27. So 27 minus off 24 gives me three. And then I'm gonna drop my last number here of nine all the way down and make this 39. Well, how many times does eight go into 39 without going over? Well, it goes in four times because five times gets us right at 40 and that's just over 39. So we're gonna have to go with four and we're gonna place that directly above the number we just dropped. So eight times four gives me 32 and then I am left over with seven. And I have no more numbers to drop here. So whatever I have here at the bottom, that is called my remainder. And we symbolize that with a little r and then the number. So my answer is, how many times does 8 go into 34,679? Or you could say it as 34,679 divided by 8 equals 4,334 with a remainder of 7. Now, there's always a way to check your answers here, and we're going to do that. So we're going to check it. And the way you check it is take your answer, excluding the remainder portion for now, and you're going to multiply it by your dividing number of 8. So 8 times 4 gives me 32. Add the 3 up here. So 8 times 3. <clears throat> that gives me... Um, 
sorry, little, little horse there. Eight times three gives me 24. And then adding in three gives me 27. Well, same thing again, 24 adding in two gives me 26. And then adding in two over here. And that gives me eight times four, which is 32 plus two, which is 34. Well, that's not exactly our answer. We're a little bit off here, but whenever you have a remainder, you add in that remainder at the end after you multiply through. So 34,672 plus seven gives me 34,679. And that is what my number was. So my math checks out in the end. So my answer here, excluding the zero at the start, is four, three, three, four, with a remainder of seven. Or you could write it as four, three, three, four. And you would take your remainder and divide it by your dividing number of eight. So you would have 34,679 divided by eight is 4,334 and seven eighths. Either one of these answers is acceptable. All righty. And then moving on to the second one, we have a much larger number here, but it's going to be the same procedure overall. Um, long division is considered to be long because the longer the number you have, the longer it takes to actually find that answer, but it's the same process overall. So once again, you're just going to look at a single number dropping each time. So our first one is three into six. How many times does three go into six? Well, three times two is six. It's not going over six. So we can place that two directly above our number of six. And then three times two gives me six. And we're going to subtract that. So six minus six gives me, oh, look, zero. Whenever you see a zero, well, that's pretty good. All right. And then I'm going to drop my next number of nine. So now I have nine. Well, how many times does three go into nine? Well, three by three is nine. So I'm going to take that three and put it right up here above my number that I dropped. Three times three gives me nine. Well, once again, nine minus nine, zero. All righty. And then you just drop your next number of eight. So how many times does three go into eight without going over? Well, three by three is nine. That's over. So we'll go to the previous one of three by two, which is six. So it goes into eight two times without going over. And three times two gives me six. So eight minus six gives me two. And then I'm going to drop my next number. And this now becomes 27. Well, how many times does three go into 27? Well, three times eight is 24. Three times nine is 27. So it goes in there exactly nine times. So I'm going to place that nine directly above the seven. So three times nine gives me 27. Subtract that off from my previous 27. And I get zero. Well, drop the next number down. And that is three. Well, how many times does three go into three? Once without going over. So three times one gives me three. Subtract it off. I'm left with another zero. Well, let's drop the next number, which is a two. As you can see, this is just a highly repetitive process. Then we have two. How many times does three go into two without going over? Well, it goes into there zero times without going over because the three itself is already over two. So three times zero gives me zero. And I'm going to have to scroll a little bit here. So that gives me two minus zero, which gives me two. And then I'm going to drop my last number, which is five. So I'm left with 25 here. How many times does three go into 25? Well, we wrote it earlier. Three goes into 25 eight times without going over because eight by three gives me 24. And I'm left with a remainder of one because I have no more numbers to drop. So whatever's left there at the bottom is my remainder, little r, one. Well, just like before, let's check our answer. We're just going to multiply this number that we calculated by three. So we have two, three, two, nine, one, zero, eight. Put in some commas there to help us out there. And then we're going to multiply that by three. So three by eight is 24. Well, three times zero 
is zero, and then we add two. Three by one is just three. Three by nine is 27, add the two up here. Three by two is six plus the two, which is eight. Three by three, which is nine. And then three by six, or three by two, which is six. Well, not exactly my number that I have over here, but remember we have a remainder, so we have to add in that remainder, which is just one. So we end up with 6,987,325 as our answer. And does that match up? Well, we got five, two, three, seven, eight, nine, and six. So yes, it does check out, meaning that my answer shown up here is the correct one. So my answer is how many times does three go into that number? Well, it goes in 2,329,108. One hundred and eight times with a remainder of one, or you could write it as two, three, two, nine, one, zero, oh, eight, with my remainder being divided by my dividing number of three. Either way is an acceptable answer. So that's how you would work those two long division problems. It doesn't matter how long the number is. It's the same process overall, as long as you remain nice and neat when you're dropping your numbers and lining everything up as best as possible. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problem solved this variety, please check out other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.